So, unfortunately, uh, Britain's got all these very draconian social distancing measures put in place for at least three weeks because of the spread of the coronavirus and obviously people not taking it seriously. And despite the fact they've announced that there will be fines for those breaking these rules, today I saw lots of people doing it. So, of course, my faith in humanity is always never very high, but, you know. So, I saw these rules and I thought these are quite draconian, but, you know, if it slows down the rate of infection, saves people's lives, that's all worth it. You know, it's going to be a pain in my ass for some of the stuff. Because, as I said, my, the job I already work at has already been basically forcibly closed down by the government for several weeks, months, potentially. Uh, same for a lot of people all across the UK. Lots and lots of service sectors have been disrupted. So you're sort of having to put up with that. And then you're also told, obviously, that you can't go out and meet friends. You know, there's lots and lots of things you can't do. So, you know, boring, really. You're stuck at home doing nothing. But, of course, I think most people who aren't psychopaths are, you know, prepared to take those things because they know it will save lives. However, today I had to go to the pharmacy, which is one of the things you're allowed out for. In the UK, I'll specify what this is now, just for the people who didn't see Bojo's thing yesterday, but... Or the day before, whichever day this video goes live. Basically, you can go out for food shopping and to the pharmacy, and that should be as infrequently as possible. Um, you can go out for daily exercise once a day, but try not to get into contact with other people. And you can go out if you need to care for somebody else. That was basically it. It was basically only medical, food, or exercise reasons you're allowed out, and then there's sort of rules on that. You know, no groups of two or more people. You know, no wandering about for the sake of wandering about outside. So today I had to go to the pharmacy to pick up my prescriptions I have to pick up about once per week because I'm chronically ill. And oh look, driving past lots of people just out enjoying the sun, you know, not taking any of these rules seriously, huddled together in groups, you know. And I know they've already said if it's a family unit it's not so important because you're going to get infected if you're in the same house anyway. But you know, I'm sure some of these people weren't in the same family group. It was just, oh look, it's a nice sunny day, there's not many people about, this is a good excuse to go out and do whatever the fuck we want. So, yeah. Um, when I went to the pharmacy, I had um, a respirator on, I was just wearing a half face one, you know, like that. Um, pharmacist also had a mask, gown and gloves on because they weren't taking any chances. That was all, good, you know, good there. But again, what's the point of them taking those measures, me taking those measures, if everybody else isn't? Um, obviously, I'm going to carry on following these rules because I'm not, you know, a hypocrite in regards to saying you should all follow these rules, but I'm not going to do it myself. But it's just... The real, I think, disappointment that you start getting from the people who are just deciding that everybody else's lives they're going to gamble with and they want this to go on as long as possible because they, you know, don't care about not spreading the infection. So, yeah, um, they're going to have to get serious with actually, I think, police everywhere and fines or army everywhere and fines, maybe even imprisonment. I mean, I don't know how you'd logistically do it. I know in France they were doing some sort of system where you had to print out a form and then you had to tick and say what times you were going out when you'd be back so if a policeman stops you they can actually check that you're on the route to where you said you were on the way back you know you're not outside of the times you've put on there but yeah what's the point of having all this social distancing to save lives if the regular people were saying oh it doesn't apply to me so yeah that's this video it's mostly about disappointment so <laughs> there you go Please, 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 wherever you are in the world, read up on what measures your government are taking. Follow those measures, maybe be even more proactive with hygiene and, you know, spaces stood away from people and all that. But sadly, at the moment, it seems like lots of people are saying, well, this law doesn't apply to me. This rule doesn't apply to me. And they're just going to make it worse for everybody else. So, yeah, I wanted to do a fun video today. Maybe I'll get a chance to do that tomorrow. I wanted to do a video on making a DIY mask today. But, you know, after going out and seeing those fucking idiots just wandering around about a care in the world... Because, oh, it's a nice sunny day. Why should the rules apply to me? Sorry, I'm not doing that now.